Welcome back to PlayStation Livecast. We're here at the PlayStation booth with Jared Garretson, studio director at Zombie, and we are going to talk Daylight. This is coming to PS4, was one that was announced during uh, uh, E3 here. I want to talk a little bit about this. I love a good horror game. I love a good scare. Set me up on the premise for Daylight. So the premise is very in the shadow. Uh, we want the player, each time that they play the game, it's a completely different world that they explore their way through. But each time they play, they'll find different pieces of the, of the world, find out who they are, what's going on, what's happened in this world, and why it's so messed up, and, it's, and, and, and just travel through the entire uh, story. Originally, we were going to re release it in, in uh, different chapters, but now we're going to release it all, all in one big, tight bundle. Awesome. So... One of the things that grabbed my, grabbed my attention right away about this game is that you guys are sort of building it as a psychological horror. Talk a little bit about that philosophy. I'm a massive fan of Japanese horror. and <laughs> Who is it? Exactly. And American horror is, is chainsaws and blood and guts and violence and, you know, it, it's, it's this very American feel. Japanese horror is very subtle. There's, there's smaller things. There's creaks. There's... Things that are so twisted that you that it's it's scary just to look at versus a guy with a burlap sack over his head, you know. And and they're they're both so very different, but the whole output of it is heart rate, scared, and uh, just you know afraid of the dark for a couple of weeks after that. And that's what we that's what we want to do with daylight. Is it's not blood and guts and gore, it's twisted worlds and what's going on and who wh oh what was that that's what we want to go for and we're getting a little bit of a look at the game yep. obviously a dark game oh like God. you would expect but one of the things i want to talk about is you guys are really harnessing the power of unreal engine 4 here for ps4 talk to me a little bit about what, what that means and, and some of the effects and the atmosphere you'll be able to create the so we're we're uh, unreal through and through developer we've been working with unreal for many 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 years and we were able to get daylight uh or actually unreal 4 uh, GDC last year, and the one big thing that they added to 4 was this procedurally generated uh, content drop where you make volumes and you can put what's inside of it and it will fill fill rooms. And, and we looked at this like, wait, we can do this, but can it take logic and do it as well? And it did, and so we made a, a room generation system that we're using Unreal's blueprints and so it's populating not only the world procedurally, so each room will be different and the, and the elements will be different, but it's also the horror and the shock and the placement of ghosts and the placement of anything is completely different. And it's really hard to demo. That, uh, I love it though. I, yeah. love, I think horror is all about the unexpected. Exactly. And having a procedural system to kind of build a randomized, but I mean, not randomized. You're not just throwing them on a table and, and scattering them willy nilly. I right. mean, it's still, there's a logic, like you said, there are systems in place to guide this experience. Now, talk to me a little bit about what we're seeing here. I mean, it looks like a cell phone, and it looks like that's a source of illumination. Talk to right. me a little bit about some of the tools at your disposal as you navigate these environments. So, anytime anyone needs a light or is in a dark place they pull out their cell phone it's it's just true tech that's everyone has even kids have and so it was one of those things where like this makes sense and we put different items so for example the glow stick or you can find flares and each one of those actually have game mechanics connected to it so the glow sticks will allow you to find clues or allow you to find different elements the uh the flares will actually uh thwart the ghosts or scare them away, but the way that the flare works is it's just so violent that it's throwing shadows all over the place using real-time lighting, which is the other big thing that Unreal gave us, is completely dynamic lighting, and it looks beautiful, and it allowed us to make these worlds. If we were to do this in Unreal 3, each time we would make the world, the lighting would have to get baked and right. placed in. We're talking about like per pixel real time lighting, the kind of stuff that you used to see in Doom 3, but you guys are doing it in a whole new way here yeah. with the game. Yeah. yeah, so it allows us to have flexibility, but also the, the complex textures that they're, that they're coming out, we can make just insane shaders that will manipulate and kind of move around. And, and it's really awesome in our, in our team was relatively small when we first started working on this. This was really just kind of like a weekend idea and it grew and grew and grew and it's becoming something very interesting because signing with Atlas, them bringing it to the PlayStation, it's no longer just gonna be this little indie PC thing. 
and us making it a bundle, but also the exciting part is via Atlas, we're gonna bring it to Japan. Awesome. So this, the source of our inspiration, we can actually bring it to, to the Japanese gamers, which is extremely exciting. You guys are coming full circle with this. So yeah. talk to me a little bit. It appears we're in sort of, I would say, it looks like an abandoned asylum. Right. Now, now talk to me a little bit about, you kind of mentioned spirits and the supernatural. I know, of course, you know, any good horror experience, we want to go in unprepared, uh -huh. not expecting what we're going to find. But talk to me a little bit about some of the threats that are lurking here. So we have a lot of, a lot of different elements to it that you learn and the, the things that you'll see mostly right now are, are our ghosts, which we made them very, very permadeath. If, if, you're, if you're a gamer, you don't think that, you get startled, but if you see something and it's gonna reset your game, that's gonna scare you more. So they're very brutal in the sense of when you see that, you wanna get away because you don't wanna restart. And so we're, we're doing a lot of that. It'll be balanced, of course, easy, medium, hard. So like if I just want to learn the story, if I want to experience it and just have fun with it, you can go easy. But if you want to go hard, it'll be very different. Speaking of, speaking yeah. of spirits, here we go. Yeah, and so in, in this, the, the spirits are there will have no. many different types of spirits that will really be different archetypes that you experience in any game. Um, but then we have those subtle non-reset uh, elements of things that go bump in the night that you just don't know what they are. <laughs> and uh, so it's really exciting and it's really fun um, and really hard to develop on because, I mean, I come in and, and go downstairs and we've got a demo room that we turn off all the lights to focus test and every no. single time it's totally different. And it's that's the really wild part about this is we really built it for sharing your experience with YouTube and everything that's huge. And so when we started, when we signed with Blacklight and we got to get that controller and that share button being that major factor and us getting to find out camera X, Y, and Z, we definitely are gonna be making the experience very dialed in for the PlayStation 4. Uh, that's awesome, taking full advantage of all the tools there, share and scare, or scare yep. and share maybe I should say. Yep. I also want to talk a little bit about, I mean, what do you, what do, you do when you find a spirit? I mean, th this is not a first person shooter. Right, I mean, right. you're not firing like ectoplasm guns and yeah. things like that. Are you using primarily light sources to ward these things off? So light sources and then if they do grab you, uh, you will be able to fight them off, but you'll want to run again or here. some of them might just get you in and you're, and you're done for. So really it's it should be as soon as you see those, you should definitely be like, oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to run? How do I, how do I do that? And you'll learn how to manipulate the environment for the ghosts and, and everything like that. Well, I love a good horror game. When are we going to be able to get our hands on Daylight for PS4? We're aiming for Q1 2014.